guys, it's Megan. It's so good to see you and today I'm going to do the last part of our bathroom and it is the closet that is behind me. This is like our linen closet and where we keep extra things, where we keep um, cleaning supplies, backup, everything that I'm trying to get through, um, towels, more cleaning stuff. And I have done this section before. This looked a lot worse a year ago before I did it, but it needs to be touched up again. Um, the towels are pretty much in good shape, but I would like to reorganize them a little bit. And then, like, down here, I want to reorganize and up there with the cleaning supplies. So I'm just going to... Do what I've been doing all the other videos just go through and try to organize it um my hair is still wet because I just got ready but I thought that this would be a good time to organize and so yeah let's try to tackle this closet <music>
guys. So now it is done. Here's just an overview of it. And some of the shelves are pretty much the same, but I did make some pretty big changes. So we'll start at the top. And so in here I have all cleaning supplies. So this little basket has the stuff that we use to clean our bathroom regularly. And then in this I have like sponges and claws and a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. So that's easy to get to. Paper towels. And then in this basket I have all, let's see if you can see, um, backup like cleaning stuff. So like Clorox wipes, bathroom, toilet cleaner, um... So that's like the cleaning shelf, which we basically had all cleaning stuff up there, but then we also had other random stuff. Now it's all cleaning stuff, so that makes me really happy that it's all in one area. And so that's the first shelf. Then the second shelf, which is basically at eye level, um, I kept it pretty much the same. So I have um, body wash over here. We have all of these dial yogurt. It goes all the way to the back. Um, and then this... Um, aisle is all body wash, other body washes. And then this is shampoos and this is conditioners. So this is the stuff that I'm basically trying to use up this year. We have so many. This is why I don't need to buy any of these types of products because I can just use these as body wash. I can use the conditioner as shaving cream. Just use the things that we already have and try to get this down more. And I've made a really big dent. This was once like overflowing um, to the front of this shelf. So I'm really happy with that. And I actually found that we have this philosophy one. So I'm excited to try that out. Then um, I removed some of the things in here so it wasn't as cluttered, but it's pretty much the same. I just have extra Q-tips, um, brush heads for my sister's Olay Pro-X. There's a bar soap behind there. On this little shelf, I have extra toothpaste. So like if people come to visit or if we go on vacation and we just want to take a small one, we have that and then bathroom cups. So that is pretty much the same. I just reorganized it. The shelf is pretty much the same. We have bath towels on the left and hand um, like hand towels on the right in addition to backup turby twists. So that is pretty much the same. On the last shelf we have more bath towels on the left which was the same but I took some out because we just had too many. I'm going to donate them when I take the clothes today. So we have a few less that we never use, so there's those. And then here, this is new, we didn't have this before. Um, this was some extra stuff from when I cleaned under my sink and also when I did our sink vanity. So we just have some things that we like to keep around, but um, we might not reach for them all the time. So we have like extra tampons and stuff. We have like ear <laughs> like stuff for when we get piercings, like mouth rinse. Um, hydrogen peroxide, special mouth rinse, and then my old glasses. So that is what's on the last shelf. And then finally down here, oh, also I have our Swiffer right there and it stays nicely. So I have the Swiffer um, like little cleaning cloths down there. Then I put the toilet paper here because it was in this basket, um, which was for the, the, um, why can I not think of these words? The bags. It was in this thing for the bags. And so we couldn't get to the bags. So I just put the toilet paper there. That's the extra toilet paper. This um, first drawer is just extra washcloths. And that was the same. And this one we have the towels that I put down when I dye my hair. So those are just like sort of ruined towels. But we like to keep them. And then this is something that's brand new. And let me see if I can open it with one hand. Okay. You can basically see it. So I put all of our extra hand soap, which is a ton. And then behind it, the Swiffer is in the way. Um, behind that, I put all of my um, lotions that I'm trying to work through. So I just have a few left. I have some samples, and then I have a few that are laying down, and then just four in the back. So this makes it much more accessible. I used to have it on the top shelf of my closet and so I would have to like try to like not drop it when I brought it down so I think this is a really good system they're all right there with the soap and yeah I'm really really happy with this so I'm just throwing out a few of the things that 
that didn't fit. And of course I'm like overheating again. So I'm gonna step out here. Oh my gosh, as I run into the door, I have horrible depth perception. Okay. So now our bathroom is done. I'm so happy. And um, it showed me all the things that we have left that I'm gonna try to use up. So like the body washes and the conditioners and stuff like that. And then my lotions, I'm really happy with how few lotions I have left. So that really impressed me. And um, yeah, so I'm really happy with how the bathroom turned out. It only took me like two days to do these um, smaller projects. So that's what I really recommend to you guys is to just do small projects um, chop it up. I did some during the day, some at night, one today, and it just makes it a lot easier to finish projects more quickly and also more effectively because if you do it like all at once, you'll probably get tired by the end of it and you won't be as like clear headed and all of those things that are really helpful for when you organize. So I hope that you enjoyed this bathroom overhaul series and I will jump back into the bedroom overhaul um, soonly, soonly, <laughs> that is definitely not a word, soon after this. And I think I want to do my makeup collection really soon, organize that and go through it and see what I can get rid of. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you guys really soon. Bye!